Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. Just make sure you do all those beautiful things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know. The algorithm's been acting wonky here. I think half of my viewers are gone right now. I don't know. Everybody's checked out. What's going on? Well, I know there's weird stuff going on. But whatever the case is. We're going to be doing a, if you're in no contact with your person, how's their Valentine's Day going to be? <laughs> uh, I feel like I had to do it. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to pull your Valentine's Day uh, reading. I'm going to pull that one tomorrow. But uh, I figure today we're going to go ahead and see uh, how your person's Valentine's Day is going to be. So... With that being said, you know what time it is. Tarot's now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. Tony Presiding. I need more holy water before we begin. I don't know. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and jump into this. And let's see how this person... Pisces is currently in no contact with this person. So, how's their Valentine's Day going to be? Also, we're going to find out if this person will reach out to you on Valentine's Day. So, we're going to get into this. The person that Pisces is in no contact with right now, how's their Valentine's Day going to be? How's their Valentine's Day going to be? How's their Valentine's Day going to be, this person that Pisces is in no contact with? Hold on just a second. <clears throat> The person that Pisces is in no contact with, how's their day going to be here? Oh, boy. <laughs> well, here they are. Moist mushroom, man. Sulking. <laughs> yeah. All right, Pisces. We're going to have to get into this and clarify the crap out of this. I'm getting this energy off this where this person is thinking about you on a passionate kind of sense. But there's something here uh, where they're feeling cold and distant, okay? This person here, they might be wanting something to happen fast here, okay? Because there's something here that they don't know. So they're wondering here what's going on here. So let's go ahead and get into this moon. So what's going on here? What, what are they wondering about? They're wondering something about you, Pisces. What is this person wondering about, Pisces, please? They're wondering something about you. Okay. All right. This person here, they're wondering um, who you're showing up with, who who you're talking to, okay? They're wondering who you're talking to. They're also wondering if you're at work here. What else are they wondering about Pisces here under this energy here? What else are they wondering about Pisces here? They're wondering here... Okay, they're wondering, they think you're hiding something here. What do they think Pisces is hiding? They think you're hiding something. They think you're hiding. What do they think that Pisces is hiding? What do they think here? They don't know what to think, okay? Because basically, um, your wall's up here, okay? You're like, oh, Valentine's Day? Nope. I'm not doing it. I'm going to go ahead and put up a scarecrow like it's October 
And uh, you might have already blocked this person, blocked communication, but your uh, your 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 guard is up. All right, you're very much trying to. Uh, you want them to stay away. This is the energy that I'm getting. You want them to stay away because you feel like this person here uh, might come in and ruin something here for you. So what? What is what? What's going on here? Why does Pisces feel like this person's gonna ruin? What is? What does Pisces think this person's gonna ruin? Okay. Pisces, what are you hiding here? You're hiding something here. Are you hiding another connection, Pisces? I'm almost getting that energy here that you might be hiding another connection. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. So maybe you're in, got two different people, maybe three, maybe four. You know, you are a Pisces, so you, you know, I know Pisces. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> okay. So what's this? Uh, we're going to talk to the Queen of Wands here for how their Valentine's Day is going to be. Okay. Pisces, this person here, whoever that you're dealing with, they want to connect with you. They want to connect with you on a, a passionate level here. They know what they want, okay? But it's, it's like this, there's something about you. There's something you don't want here, okay? This person wants to connect with you, Pisces. You got I got somebody here that you're in no contact with. We're because I'm pulling a no contact, but this person here, uh, I, they're wanting to connect with you. That's the the energy that I'm pulling off of this. They're wanting to connect with you for sure because they're feeling a strong connection to you. And maybe you're in minimal contact with this person. I don't know. I'm pulling no contact, though. But they're wanting to connect with you here, okay? For whatever reason. Mm -mm -mm. So, what's going on here? Why are they wanting to connect with Pisces so bad on Valentine's Day? Why are they wanting? Because there's something here that they want to heal. They want to fix something here, okay? So, it feels like you guys... Uh, this, here's the thing, there's some distance here, and this distance here is causing this person to get in survival mode, right? So this person, and when you get into survival mode, there's a part of your brain that starts firing, that's like, oh my god, and you don't have any control over this part of your brain, so you start to panic, Okay. So I'm getting this person like panicking here because of the the distance that is here between the two of you. It's putting this person in a state of survival mode. So they're basically freaking out. You know, like what happens when you're in survival mode? You know, you start like there's an absence there. And then you want to what? Like if you're a tiger. You know, you want to attack, okay? So, this, like, this person, uh, it's like, they might want to attack you like a tiger. <laughs> I got the eye of the tiger. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, what's the chariot doing down here on the table for this person who is in no contact with Pisces. What's this chariot here? Pisces. Let's go chariot with the Ten of Pentacles. Pisces. Somebody. Pisces. Somebody wants. You're, whoever this is. Somebody here is freaking out. Okay. This person here might drive by your house. But this person is thinking about. Uh, stability here with you and there's something here 
uh, they're going to reach out to you. You got somebody who's wanting to talk to you here. So what do they want to talk to Pisces about, please? What do they want to talk to you about? Boy. They've been fantasizing about you here. What have they been fantasizing about? What have they been fantasizing about? They've been... They Somebody's wanting to see you. Valentine's Day. This person you're in no contact with is wanting to see you. Okay? Now, this is not going to be, like I said, for every single Pisces out there. Okay? Because if I could predict that for every single Pisces... Like I always said, I would have been kidnapped and I would be working uh, for NASA and they would drop me in the middle of the desert in a bunker and I would be who knows what, okay? So anyway, there for a good majority of you, yep, this person that you are in no contact with is reaching out, but you're guarded. Mm -hmm. You're very guarded and they feel like you're hiding something here. So what's this Queen of Swords down here on the table? Queen of Swords. I don't know what that was. Uh, let's go top to bottom. What's the Queen of Swords down here on the table? Okay. What's going on here? Uh-oh. What's going on with the Queen of Swords in the tower? This person here... That you're dealing with. They're feeling coldness off of your energy. They are. Okay. They're feeling coldness here. And this person here. Okay. It's like they're like feeling like a wounded warrior. They're feeling like your wolf man pig bear. You see that back there? Yeah, that dude. Doesn't it look like wolf man pig bear? You got one wand, Pisces. There you are. And there's this person, which is two dudes. And it's like you're kicking their butt here. And there's something they want to say about this. So what do they want to say about feeling wounded? What does this person want to say about feeling wounded? What do they want to say? Pisces? I've been thinking about all the good times that we've had. I've been thinking, and what else are they wanting to say about this wounded energy? Yeah. Pisces, why are you guarded against me? Why is Pisces guarded against this person? Oh my goodness. Oh shit. You want something to change here. You're, you're ticked off. Yeah, you're ticked off. So what did this person do to Pisces that made Pisces so ticked off? Well, you, they put you in a no contact situation just to start. What did they do? They didn't meet your expectation, Pisces. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Pisces, you got somebody here for a good majority of you. If you're in no contact, these people, this person is reaching out to you. But you're kind of like, no, you're ticked. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, I hope this helps. Please let me know what goes on. Um, you know, especially if your person reaches out, not everybody's going to reach out. But I know there's already people are getting their, their no contact people reaching out to them. Oh, they are. I see it. I see it. I know it. I know it. And I can really, literally, I know it sounds weird. Like my friend yesterday, it's weird. Like he's like, I guess I might be psychic too. <laughs> I predicted who was going to win yesterday. I did. I did. The Super Bowl? Mm-hmm. I did. I predicted that. Before it even happened, my friend, I was like, I told him who was going to win. I already knew it. 
I already knew it. But I feel like it's staged. I feel like it's, I feel like the Super Bowl staged. I'm not going to get into it. And then he was like, I just was predicting all these things. And then sure enough, he calls me to this morning and he's like, holy crap. He's like, Talia, you were right. And I was like, yeah, I know. I, when I know, I know. I just know things. I don't know how I know them, but I just know them. Anyway, this has been your reading. Tarot's adjourned. Oh, yeah, we'll do your Valentine's Day uh, reading tomorrow. I love you.